Gemini, you have the Six of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Somebody is trying to come back. Six of Cups, you already know what it is. An ex is trying to come back to you, talk to you, like it is that I was talking about before in my last Gemini video. A lot of you Geminis are very much so hot right now because you're not really worried about or focused on the same things that you used to you know, when you were a teenager and, you know, when things were going good with you or things were going good with you when you were younger, right? You were a lot more inexperienced back then. So now um, those people who had played you, right? Now they're trying to come back. You have the Six of Cups and the Three of Swords because life has kicked their butt. They tried They they tried to go out there. They, they thought that they could go out there and date somebody else. And it's not really working. So you have the Ten of Cups. And now they're looking at you like you're the greatest thing since sliced bread. Because they've tried to go out there, like I said, and talk to other people. And they found out from a first from first hand that dating is harder because a lot more people are dysfunctional. So if you're looking for something real, good luck trying to find it because... <laughs> you're going to find more dysfunction than you are something real. And that's something that a lot of people really underestimate. When you have somebody that likes you for real, you need to stop. And, and they actually have something going on currently, and they're on the verge of becoming greater. You need to stop BSing and actually take advantage of that. Go talk to them or, or if they're talking to you and really make something happen. Because there's far too many, there's far too many people, Gemini, running around thinking that I can replace this person. You know, people don't, people will allow a potential good relationship to literally walk out of their life simply because I don't want to go up to the person and talk to them. Then when they get a dysfunctional person, now it's like, oh, well, what happened? The Emperor and the, uh, and the Ace of Cups is about you Gemini's and it's about how you Gemini's are quite comfortable being where you are because you're in a you're in a still place you're in a very peaceful place in your life where there's not a lot of drama going on and this person coming back in obviously that adds to the drama because it's dramatic right the idea that an ex is coming back and trying to you know somebody that you could have been romantically uh interested in trying to come back or they are coming back, trying to make themselves be seen to you again. But the emperor now is about how you Geminis obviously have the power to say yes or no. But at the same time, you know, you Geminis aren't going to play with your time or your future. Why would you Geminis decide to say yes? Like what value are they going to bring to the table is what I'm talking about. Like what are they going to bring to the table that will ultimately create a situation where it would be a great idea to have them back. Like they have to actually provide value, right? It's, it's not just about, see, when someone comes back, when someone is dysfunctional, right? And they decide to come back, they have to actually make themselves valuable. It's like, you've made it this far without them. Why exactly would you Gemini's decide to, to, to take them back when you don't have to, right? You've already made it so far in life without them why would you just decide why would you just decide to have them back now all of a sudden that's my dog over there so the ace of cups now is about how so they see your value because they know the value of how you gemini's cared and you tried to get to know them but they didn't take it seriously they went out there and they got their butt kicked but the ace of cups represents they expect that you gemini's are talking to other people they they which is true you gemini's are looking for for new people to get to know so you can date them and see what's going on with them right if they would be a good match the two of wands and the king of swords however represents those people that are coming back that have come back that represent the six of cups they want to be the best quality choice that you can you gemini's can essentially make they want to be the ones that you gemini's pick why? Because, like I said, they want to get their foot back in the door. They want you to trust them again. And the only way that they're going to get you to trust them and to actually date them is for them to be the best choice 
that you can pick, right? They're trying to make it so that they are so good of a choice that it's only common sense for you to pick them. The Ten of Pentacles represents, again, them trying to create value. So maybe them trying to ask you out on a date or trying to ask you to hang out. So they're trying to reintroduce themselves in a, in a better way instead of how it is that they, the, the, the bad taste that was left in you, Gemini's mouth, no pun intended, because of the disrespect that they were showing you, they're actually trying to start off on the correct foot this time. So then now you have the five of wands. And the five of wands is about, uh, because a lot, of, because the thing is the five of wands and the five of cups represents, because they are very, they are very, uh, as of right now, it seems, right? It could change in the future, of course. But as of right now, they are very sad or very sorry or very, uh, more accurately, very embarrassed about how it is that they interacted with you, Gemini's. They would try to make disagreements and arguments out of nothing, you know, out of nothing. They would try to do that out of nothing. And it really lowered their own value because they didn't have to do any of that type of stuff. So they was doing all of this stuff simply because they wanted to play games and they thought they were hot and they thought that you know, how they looked, they were untouchable and that they provided so much value. Y'all know, y'all know, everyone knows. Everyone knows what it's like to where you want someone to take you seriously and the person is just a jerk for no reason. They're disrespectful for no reason. You actually like them, you know, they're missing the part where you are asking them questions to find out about them, to get to know them. And they're over here thinking that, you, you, you capping, you lying. They over here thinking, oh, well, you know, you just want me because I'm handsome. You just want me because I'm beautiful. But they missed the part where you Gemini's, like I said, you were asking them questions. Like a, if a person isn't interested in you, they're not going to take the time to actually get to know about your bio. You know what I mean? Your height, your weight, your zodiac sign. Your, your 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 childhood, right? Your upbringing, who you came from. Like they're not gonna take all of that amount of time. That's because that's because what they're doing is they're studying you. They're trying to get to know you, duh. In order to get to know somebody, you have to study them, right? So, you know, but they missed that part. Now, like I said, the five of cups, now they feel embarrassed about that because they wouldn't have to be in the doghouse regardless of whoever they are and have to now come back to to redo everything if they would have acted like they had some form of common sense in the first place. But let's clarify the emperor. Let's clarify the emperor. The ace of wands, the seven of wands, the Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, to clarify the Emperor. Right. They know that you Geminis know, the both of you know, that they don't really have leverage. They can't really come to you and be like, oh, you remember this and you remember that. Because that would ruin, that would wreck whatever kind of chance they did, ha they, they had. Because you Geminis are not trying to hear all of that. You know, how disrespectful they were. And then now they're like, oh, you remember? It's like they using guilt tripping to get you to be with them again. That ain't going to work. It's too much time. So the five of wands and the knight of pentacles represent, because another thing too, they know that, again, anything that they say that's super disrespectful and coming off kind of crazy, it will set you Gemini's off to be like, nah, you're going to bounce. You, you have business with other people elsewhere. Right. Because that's what Gemini represents places to go, people to see things to do. So the Ten of Cups now is about how since that's the case, you Gemini's really need to understand that. You really need to understand your own power in the sense that that's the power in what we all have. When you have self-respect, 
That's the power of self-respect. Well, one of the powers of self-respect. You don't have to hang around individual that are individuals that are going to be disrespectful and indecent to you. Who said you have to hang around those people? When people start being indecent and disrespectful and out of touch with reality, guess what you do? You show respect and you dump them. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. There's only, if, if you're the type of person to sit there and put up with that for a prolonged periods of time, that means that, means that you're not an alpha the way that you portray yourself to be. And with you, Gemini's, before, but especially now. See, before the way that you Gemini's, let's clarify the Five of Cups. Before the way that you Gemini's would express this, walking away from somebody would be because you're playing the game. Now, it's you, you realize that this game, that people seem to be wasting their precious time that they'll never be able to get back doing is wasting ultimately wasting their lives away trying to prank people so to clarify the five of cups you had a page of swords the ace of swords nine of cups temperance page of swords and the ace of swords to clarify the five of cups is about how um and yeah you don't you gemini's don't have the tolerance to be in opposition with somebody that you would be with, you know, romantically. The nine of cups, right, and the tower, it either has to work or if it or it doesn't. If it doesn't work, you're gonna move forward with your life. But it has to be one or the other. It has to be the nine of cups, the two of y'all chilling, enjoying yourselves, right? Generally speaking, right? Or this, where the two of you don't mix because for whatever reason, the person thinks they're better than you. They're playing games. They're wasting your time. Whatever it is, they think it's some sort of ping pong competition. Whatever it is. And they want to spend their time doing that. But you Geminis are going to give them what it is that their hand is called for. That's pretty much it. Comment on the video. Like the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share the video. Look, I'm trying to make my YouTube channel grow to 10,000 subscribers by the end of January. As of right now, we're at 9350. Smash the subscribe button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos. And hey, also too, please make sure, right, in order for you to uh, uh, in order for you to support the channel, right, keep the show going, there's a link in the comment section called the link tree. Click on it, it will redirect you to a website which it has a drop down menu of all the ways that you can support me.